2022 turned out to be one of the most exciting seasons in Germany, with Bayern winning it by a close call. They secured another championship due to Borussia Dortmund's poor performance towards the end of the season. Throughout the season, the unpredictability of German football was evident, with unexpected events occurring. Was this an uncommon occurrence for Bayern Munich? Or be champions yet again with Harry Kane? Stay until the end of the video to find out, and make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more content. In the Bundesliga, there's a story like that of Luton Town in English football. Heidenheim, a small team, will play in the top division starting this August. It took a really long time, 177 years to be exact, since the club was formed in 1846. And a goal scored in the 99th minute on the last day of the previous season to stop Hamburg, a big team, from getting promoted. But in the end, Heidenheim made it to the top league. Their coach, Frank Schmidt, has been leading the team since 2007, taking them from the fifth division all the way to the top. Another team, Darmstadt, has also returned to the Bundesliga after not being there since 2016-17. In a different part of the league, Thomas Tuchel is starting his first full season as the boss of Bayern Munich. He used to manage Chelsea and PSG. He came to Bayern Munich in March to replace Julian Nagelsmann. Tuchel led his team to win the championship, although it was very close. Thanks to Now, he has the opportunity to shake the big German team according to his own style. The main goal for those competing in the Bundesliga is to stop Bayern Munich from winning their 12th consecutive championship. After Borussia Dortmund missed a great chance to win the title last season by drawing against Mainz at home, their team spirit might be low. But our team spirit will be high if you subscribe and like our video right now. Borussia Dortmund's revenge plan won't include Jude Bellingham, so it's important how they find a replacement for him. Teams like RB Leipzig, Freiburg and Union Berlin have won cups recently. Union Berlin has even qualified for the Champions League for the first time in just four years since moving up to the top division. But what's really interesting is that fans of the Bundesliga, a league known for being socially aware, will generate a lot of content on social media. They might criticize the idea of sports washing, express anger at owners who are seen as dishonest, or protest against small increases in ticket prices. Throughout the entire season, Bundesliga fans will likely be the ones creating the most buzz. Not only did Bayern Munich take the title from Dortmund, but they've also signed Rafael Guerrero, who was not under contract anymore. He has joined the Allianz Arena, just like Robert Lewandowski and others did before. The champions, Bayern, have also brought in Konrad Leimer from RB Leipzig. Leipzig lost Christopher Nkuku and Dominic Soboslai, but they borrowed Fabio Carvalho from Liverpool and bought Christoph Baumgartner from Hoffenheim for £20 million. About 11 months ago, they agreed on the same price for another player who will arrive this summer, a 20-year-old Slovenian forward named Benjamin Sheshko, who's coming from Red Bull Salzburg. Quick question, do you know which Premier League team wanted to sign Benjamin Sheshko? If you know the answer, let us know in the comments below. And if you don't know, you will find out about it later in this video, so stay tuned to not miss out. Dortmund has made signings as well. They've acquired Felix Mecha, a former young player from Manchester City, from Wolfsburg for £26 million. Xabi Alonso, who used to be an amazing midfielder, has turned into a thoughtful coach. It might not be surprising, but his impact at Bayer Leverkusen last season was incredibly impressive. Before this, he had only coached the reserve team of Real Sociedad, but in October, he took charge of Leverkusen, a team that was near the bottom of the league. Despite this, he guided them to the seventh position in the league and the semi-finals of the Europa League. Fans are really excited to see what he can achieve this time. With Alonso as the coach, and even though Bellingham left the Bundesliga like Sancho did, there's still a young English player making waves there. Jamie Bino Gittens from London had a successful first season with Dortmund. He scored three goals, including two winning goals, in 15 league matches. He's really fast, has a strong shot, and can play on either side of the field. He's part of the England under-19 national team and used to play for Manchester City, just like Mecha, who recently joined Dortmund. People are saying he could become a big star in the Ruhr Valley, where Dortmund is located. The team that holds the record for the most championships managed to win their 11th straight Bundesliga title last May, but goal helped them secure the title. And the loss by Mainz to Dortmund also played a big role on the last day of the season. Now, they have brought in new players like Rafael Guerrero, Min Jae Kim, and Konrad Leimer to make their team stronger for the 2023-24 challenge. However, the biggest attention is on Kane, a well-known player who recently joined the team. He is a great scorer and can fill the role left by Robert Lewandowski in the attack. 
This is something the team needed last season. The idea of Kane playing alongside players like Musiala, Gnabry and Sane is very exciting. With Tuchel leading the team, Bayern is expected to be a must-watch in the upcoming season. Keep an eye on Marco Rose's exciting team from Saxony. People were talking about a transition phase for Leipzig this season, but those thoughts were quickly dismissed after their impressive performance in the Super Cup against Bayern Munich. Led by Danny Olmo, Leipzig played with quick and stylish attacking moves, causing problems for Bayern. New players like Harvey Simons, Luis Openda and Benjamin Sheshko got fans excited about what's to come for last season's third place team in the Bundesliga and winners of the DFB Cup. But the real star might be Olmo, who scored three goals in the Super Cup and seems to be getting even better. Leipzig had good wins against the top two teams in Germany last season and almost competed for the title. They started this season strongly by winning the Super Cup and with Rosa as the coach for his first full season, it's possible that we might see a team other than Bayern or Borussia Dortmund win the title for the first time since 2008-09, when Wolfsburg won. Frank Schmidt was already in charge of Heidenheim for about two seasons when Leipzig started in Germany's fifth division in 2009. He later faced Leipzig while coaching in the third Liga and Bundesliga too. Now he gets to compete against them in the top league because he led his beloved club to the Bundesliga for the first time. Their journey was tough. They scored two goals in extra time on the last day to disappoint Hamburg fans who thought they were getting promoted automatically. Some newly promoted teams have gone back down right away, while others have established themselves in the Bundesliga, like Leipzig, Hoffenheim, Augsburg and Union Berlin, who had a great story last season. Freiburg, coached by Christian Streich, also went down in 2015-16, but came back stronger. Kaiserslautern even won the title in 1998, just a year after getting promoted. I'm not saying Heidenheim aims for the same, especially since their stadium is the smallest in the Bundesliga this season. So Heidenheim's first season in the top league will be watched closely. Frank Schmidt is the longest serving active coach in Germany, and Heidenheim's home ground can hold 15,000 people. The answer to our quick question is Manchester United. Red Devils scouts were keen on the young Slovenian, but the transfer never became a reality. The Bundesliga, Germany's top soccer league, had an exciting season in 2022-23. The competition for the title was really prizing rivalries for the top four spots, intense fights for European places, as well as exciting battles to avoid relegation and get promoted. The race for the top scorer was also open and exciting. The Bundesliga performed really well in many aspects, like having lots of goals in each game and high attendance at matches. As it celebrates its 60th year, it's expected to continue this exciting trend. So, whether you're a long-time football fan, looking for a new league to support, interested in passionate fan culture, searching for young talents for your football manager game, or just wanting to have a great time, the Bundesliga has something for you. It represents football as it's meant to be played and enjoyed. Which team are you keen on watching this season in the Bundesliga? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more.